Uh, we had some erosion uh, damage at the pool this last week um, on October 29th when we, due to some of the erosion of the creek, part of the cliff just outside the, uh, the top pool um, fell down and, and took out a chunk of our fence and a chunk of our concrete and um, damaged some of our irrigation. Uh, thankfully, the, the damage to the deck uh, was minimal and the pool itself wasn't affected, but um, the staff were able to get the irrigation repaired quickly and um, they're working on fi fixing the fence and getting that all um, repaired. But uh, we did lose a big chunk of earth and um, erosion continues to be um, an issue uh, around the pool complex and um, something we definitely want to continue to, to look at and mitigate. So, um, Maybe not question, but comment, given the erosion damage, um, I would advise, and I'm sure you, you have it on your radar, to uh, really develop a proactive plan to deal with the erosion issue around the pool, given the fact that it's such a um, pricey um, infrastructure, a piece of infrastructure we have, and also a source of, um, you know, revenue for us and, and fun for the community. So um, it would be critical to save the uh, property around the pool. And um, I know we'll have to redo the thought pool eventually because of the zero entry issue. Um, so as soon as we touch the deck, we'll have to, you know, bite the bullet and and um, and redo the thought pool. But um, yeah, I think um, preserving this area is critical. Absolutely, and fully agree. And um, we have we have worked with some of the members of. Uh, the straw program and getting some guidance on, on plantings that can be done in the area to shore up the creek, as well as getting to look at um, some other agencies and you know forming a group that we can kind of continue to, to look at possible repairs and, and you know whatever we need to mitigate uh, further erosion there. So, but I fully agree. I, I have a quick question, sort of an off the wall question, but I mean, every time we lose a part of the creek, um, cliff or whatever you want to call it, creek bed, um, that perimeter becomes the new, you know, edge of the creek. Is there any possibility of moving back and starting to do some sort of terracing situation to protect the pool um, without getting into the whole, um, you know, compliance issues with what you can do next to a creek? I, I just it's pretty close to the edge isn't it right now um yes yeah, cer certain aspects of the facility are are uh, dangerously close to the edge or, or a little too close for comfort i don't think they were that close back when the facility was built i just think we've, we've lost a lot of land over time yeah. um so yeah I, I think it's a tricky spot because of how close it is to the creek um, in terms of what can be done and we'll, we'll need to explore those options I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head in terms of um any in the meantime, anything that can be done that wouldn't involve, uh, you know, get, getting some permissions and bringing in some right some bodies. Yeah. You know. Now, this zero entry pool is this going to sit in the same exact fo footprint as the existing pool? Oh, I would say definitely not. We 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 would um, want to move um, the pool a much much farther away from from the uh, from the edge. Um, okay, that's what I was hoping to hear. Good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 